This is my review for the CR10 V3. I have two of them and I've had them for a couple months. I got them back at the beginning of May and I love them. They are my best printers so far. I've had in the past. My first printer was the Ender 3 Life Reality. I love the brand. Um, I got this semi off brand printer called the FL Sun QPS Pro. It's broken, don't have parts for it, but yeah. And those are the main two printers that I've had before, and now I've had these two. And they are literally the best printers in the world. They have a huge build space, which I really love, and they're pretty fast too, which is definitely one of the main reasons I got them was because they were fast, so, yeah. And they can, everyone says these filament sensors, they always jam. They've never jammed for me, like, ever. It's all placement. So, I have never had a problem with those. It's insanely quiet. Like, you, I had these in my room for the longest time, and I could actually sleep with them. Like, whoa. I could sleep with them on the floor across the room, and I didn't hear anything. It's amazing. Um, it works with all kinds of filaments, like, I've been using, I have some filaments right here, I've been using the Ninja Flex TPU, some Soap PLA, Matter Hackers PLA, and, um, Hatchbox PLA, it's like my new favorite brand, but yeah, I love it. Um, right now I'm printing a Mandalorian helmet as a bench test, but I love everything about these things, my only complaint is these box fans get pretty noisy when it goes into like turbo mode and um leveling is a pain in the booty so i have the bl touch version 3 but the firmware that comes for bl touch for this didn't work so i had to get this custom firmware off of a facebook group and it took me forever but i figured it out if you do get BL Touch for the V3, I highly recommend getting the BL Touch on the custom firmware and not the main one. My current setup for the printers, I have them on this bench inside my mudroom, and I've got all my filament stacked right here. And I got this one running a Mando helmet. This one, I was gonna print some benchies, and I did, so it's dirty, but it's running fine. It's supposed to take about two days in printing time. I've got a little camera next on my sink that monitors them. It'll monitor you too. Two days later. And I've achieved about this much. And it's been going for 45 hours. And literally only at 66%. And we're almost there. Almost there. It'll be done, I think, either tonight or tomorrow. But I cannot wait. I think it's time to blow this thing. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam.
while I'm letting the ears print, I want to tell you about the beginnings of my channel. Um, I've just been wanting to teach people about 3D printing and engineering overall, so it won't just be 3D printing on my channel. And I really want to get kids and people who think engineering is super hard and you have to go to college for eight years to do it. I mean, I'm 16 and I'm doing it just fine. Just a dude trying to live out his life, doing something worthwhile before I leave for college. And I'm excited. So I think this is how I can show people that 3D printing is worth it and engineering overall. I will be recording a video series over the summer and teach a class on engineering for kids coming into high school and I'm super excited. So I hope you are too. Thank you so much for all the support I'm getting and I'm really excited. <laughs> summary of my CR10 V3. It did an amazing job printing the helmet. It took about 66 hours on the dot to finish it. There is literally no visible like imperfections, just perfect like layer lines, everything is just amazing. Uh, it turned out beautifully and I'm really happy with it. Um, the overall price for the printer was $530 for a 3D printer that can whatever your heart desires in plastic in under a day or two is pretty amazing so definitely worth getting um, setup was really really easy it took about an hour for each one but on the second one I knew what I was doing so it was good um, the ears turned out amazing and so when they went off they looked really good so all in all I think I'll be wearing this around the house to intimidate my siblings and yeah I think it's definitely worth getting the CR10 especially the V3 and yeah I really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy this video too because I'm in the middle of a field with this so I'll see you guys next time and enjoy and like subscribe share with everyone that you can I really appreciate it adios Subscribe. This is the way.